Hi, so today we're going to be going over an 8200165 board that appears to be dead. It was sent in by another store that says that they put it through a liquid damage treatment, and for some reason, after the liquid damage treatment, it doesn't work. And the specific wording used was, for some reason, for some reason. I wonder what that reason may be. Let's take a look through this board and let's see exactly what it's doing. So we're going to plug it in. Seems like we do get a green light in the charger. A green light in the charger means that we have PP3V42, we have the one wire circuit, the SMC is working. Okay, someone says, YouTube censorship, Lewis, you owe this one to us. I have no idea what it is that you are talking about or referring to. So let's take a look through this board and see what we get. So, all right. So the fan has a little bit of jizz on it, but there's always gonna be a little bit of jizz. It's always going to be a little bit of jizz on stuff, especially with the, the boards that we get. And we're just going to a little bit of jizz on the heat sink, but that's not going to do much of anything. Lewis shows us repairs, but never touches the operating system user interface. Yes, because most people don't spill liquid on their operating system user interface. Excellent observation. But continuing back to where we were here. Uh, it looks like there's a number written on the board here. H H O four two. I don't get it. Here, we're just going to continue onwards, looking through the board here. We have the input MOSFET. We're going to. Let's see. We have a PP three V four two circuit over here. SMC reset circuit over there, looking fine as always. LCD backlight circuit, looking beautiful as ever. Say hello to the to the viewers. LCD backlight circuit. Mm -hmm. A little bit of Thunderbolt stuff over here. We're going to turn the board around. Okay. CPU V-Core circuit, looking fine, looking good. RAM, nice, sexy, beautiful. All the little signal, all the little CPU signals and pull-ups for RTC and everything looking fine, beautiful, amazing. Mwah. All says power good section, beautiful. PP1 V05, RAM power supply, RTC circuit, SPI ROM, ISL6259 for the charger is looking great. SMC is looking great. TPS51980 for 5 and 3 volt rails is looking beautiful. And. Pull. For some reason, it's not working. We put it through a liquid damage treatment, but for some reason, it's not turning on. Some reason. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. I wonder what it could be. I guess I have to send it to Lewis rather than f fix it at my own store. You know, because really, I mean, it could be almost anything. Like, I have no idea where I'd even start. Where do you start? I don't know. Maybe with this. What the f Fuck, people. All right, so let's remove this from the board and see what happens. I l Thunderbolt's one of my favorite little circuits. My favorite little circuits. High in voltage. Thoughts on Trump's Raise Act immigration reform? Uh, I mean, there's this crazy idea of if you're going to take in people, taking in the best people. I know, it's like this crazy idea crazy, crazy idea, like maybe in a world that's becoming increasingly automated, where low-skilled work is not as valuable, maybe we should seek to encourage immigration from those of the highest economic value. Crazy idea. Anyway, going back to this. I haven't honestly read into it as much as I should have. I, I, do, have a, I do have to do some reading on it, but the basic gist of it... I can't say is something that seems too objectionable. I'm sure there'll be something on page 189 that seems a little ridiculous or silly that'll be objectionable, but we'll, we'll, have to, we'll see when it gets into it. Oh, man. We'll see as time goes on. What happened to your office? Uh, I don't understand the question. I unfortunately don't understand the question. Uh, what? I'm working in my office. What are you talking about? All right, so if we were to see what that chip is for here... Let's take a look on the board view software while we're preheating. That is U3210.
I'm not, yeah, there's not real much. I appreciate the two bucks, but not much reason to read that specific comment. So that's U3210. U3210. Where is that? And what are you for? 3.3-volt uh, power mux. So this is going to deliver power to a Thunderbolt connector, it appears. This is going to deliver 15 volts to a Thunderbolt connector. So that makes sense. And if you look at what this board looks like, this chip is most likely welded on, so I'm not going to be able to remove it using my standard hot air rework station because it's welded. Do you think it's rude to ask someone what their yearly salary is? What's up with American sticking is not supposed to be disclosed. I mean, it really depends. Like, you know, if I know you, then sure, I may be willing to share certain details. But if I don't know you, I don't want to. It's none of your fucking business. Uh, it's, it really depends. Yeah, let's do this. Get the camera focused. If I don't know you, I probably don't want to share my fucking salary with you. Uh, if, if we get along, that's one thing. Or one thing that I've said before is I have a neighbor that asked us what we pay in rent, and I thought, you know, the, the guy who worked here thought we were cool, so we told him. And then he asked him the same question. He goes, I'm not telling you. And, like, from the moment that occurred, like, he used to be able to borrow chargers. Fuck you. He used to, you know, if he used to ask if he could borrow paper for the printer. Fuck you. He used to ask if he could borrow K VGA cables. Fuck you. It's one of those things where, you know, A, if you're going to ask the question, you should be willing to share the information yourself, and B you should kind of know the person well before you start giving away that type of information. Now, something is going to give me the idea that even after I've done that, this is not going to, this is not going to work. Because you can see that the layers are kind of peeling off of the board here. You can, I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm just going to zoom in. You can see that the board is raised in that spot. Let's get this in, in focus as I can for you. Yeah, so the, the board is kind of raised. And that, that, that means that this is, yeah, see how I can push on it? It's kind of like a bubble. It's kind of like it's sitting on a bubble. So I could, again, we're, we're, there's no way in hell that we're soldering a new one of these onto the board. And you, you can see this board is just, it, it's had better days. Like if I do this digging thing with any other flat area, on the board, it's not going to work. You pharmacy robot repair there are taking over. I do pharmacy. I've never met a pharmacy robot before. Yeah, like if you see, if I try to dig on empty pads on the board like this, that's, it's, it's not, you know, I, I'm picking away at the solder. You can clearly tell that I'm picking away at the solder, but it's not going to do the, have that devastating effect. Whereas over here, the same amount of force is easily digging right through the motherboard. It's just, it's, it's, yeah, so this this port, this is not getting shit. So I'm going to dig through a little, see if we can peel out some of the short circuit so that this will actually work. And as can be expected, this is never going to have Thunderbolt ever again. Uh, no, no way in hell. No way, no how. Screw that. No Thunderbolt for you. We're just going to remove all these capacitors and stuff on this line. No Thunderbolt for you. No Thunderbolt for you. Uh, no Thunderbolt for you. Quick, check my question about microscope, please. Let's see. Let's see, Nitrocaster's microscope question was... Let's hope I don't burn the board while scrolling. One of these days I'm going to get a streaming assistant so I don't burn the boards while I'm scrolling and hitting Control F in chat. Is your microscope a variable focus distance? SC400 is nice for the money, but it drives me nuts when I need to take a look at the board from the steep angle. Okay, so you, what do you mean by variable focus distance? Like, I mean, I, I can do, you know, it moves up and down. Like, see, I mean, I can move it up and down, which the, the SC400 does, and I can vary the, and I can vary the, the zoom, which you can't do on the SC400 without changing lenses, and when you change the lenses, it starts to look like shit, at least when you go up to 20, not the, the eyepieces. So I'm not sure exactly what you mean by your question. If you restate, you know. Anyway, I'm just going to continue digging. 
That board is trash, yeah. Just received my FX 951. Was about to live stream too, but I'll enjoy my cups of devil's ball sweat and watch you for now. Huh. Yeah. This, this is probably what, what we call not fixable. How many Mac owners use Thunderbolt port? What, what uh, percentage would you estimate? Well, in terms of the 13-inch Air, the 11-inch Air, and the 13-inch Pro, at least the older ones, I would say most don't. But when you get into the 15-inch ones, which are typically marketed to the people that are using them for graphics and multiple monitors and external shit and, all, and cool toys, they use it regularly. So it looks like all these resistors under are also for Thunderbolt-related things. So you can say bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're gone. GTFO. And a little bit of peeling. Just a little bit of peeling. You can't spell repeal without peel, so let's just peel this right off. Goodbye. You, you are nothing but a liability on this board, which is, did I say that this is never gonna have Thunderbolt again? Because I meant it. No Thunderbolt. Absolutely no Thunderbolt. So now we're just gonna rip off the center pad, which is mostly ground, and I wanna see if the center pad here has merged with any power pads and try to rip it apart, but without merging them together. Let's get... You can't spell repeal without peel. So let's peel these layers off. That's a job for the Dremel, says someone. Yeah. Make sure that nothing is touching that shouldn't be. So this is a little bit of scraping. A little scrape, a little peel. Thank you to Nigel Hall. Let's see. What did... Nitro caster, you never followed up on, your, on the... I oh, hear you. Can you focus at different zoom height? Sometimes I need to lift my SE400 so high I can't align my eyes with the eyepieces. Okay, so here's what I would suggest you do. This is not an issue with the microscope so much as it is an issue with technique. So let's say I want to look at something from the side, right? Here's what I do. So I take my microscope and I move it off the desk area. Then I take my board or whatever it is I'm looking at. And here, here sorry, there's no way to do this without a little bit of crotch cam. So I take the board off the desk, do this. So, yeah, I need to get a counterweight for that. and then I put the board below the desk, and then I can do things like look at it at an angle. So this is what I do when I need to look at something from the side, or I want to see what the balls look like underneath a chip, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I can't really, I can't, if I want to raise the microscope for it to be twice as high, then I would need to get a Barlow lens, and I don't like Barlow lenses particularly because they, uh, they typically lower the quality of the image. And you know, some people say no, they don't, but then I look at their microscopes and I just, Go, oh, I had no idea that you were blind. Now that now I know. You know, I, I, don't, I don't like Barlow lenses for the most part. Maybe they're better when you get to the more expensive microscopes, but here, you lose some clarity when you, have to use, when you use a Barlow lens, in my opinion, at least. And I've heard a lot of people say, no, you don't. And again, I look into their microscopes, and I go, oh, boy. When did you start losing your eyesight? Have you been eating your carrots? So I'd rather just take the board off the desk. It's really just a method, methodology to me. All right, now I'm kind of curious if we get a fan spin, but I'm even more interested in seeing if this area of the board sparks when I plug the charger in. So I'm gonna plug the charger in and let's see what happens here. So it looks like there's no fire. And it looks like, as can be seen at this moment in time, that we do have a fan spin. And a fan spin means that we're good. So, that is, yeah, that, that's Thunderbolt repair. So hopefully this video makes a little bit of sense for the people when they ask, why is it that you cannot fix Thunderbolt on my board? Thunderbolt fails in a very, very unique way. And when I say unique, I mean that. And P there's, there's no fixing this in a reasonable fashion. That is multiple layers of the board that have been completely trashed 
and expanded. Once you start, if the board is flat, there's a lot you can do. But once the board starts to bubble and expand, there's really not much you can do. And even if you do do something, you run the risk later on of it lighting on fire again. If it lights on fire again, then you have, then you'll get even a larger hole there than before, and the board will be toast. So you'll go from a board that could have that could have worked fine, but not have thunderbolt to a board where you tried to have thunderbolt and now it's totally dead, never fixable, gone, because the 15 volt has shorted to the 12 volt, has shorted to the ground, has shorted to all the data lines and just tied it all together in this big mess to where the stuff on this side of the board has no ability to communicate with what's on this side of the board. And that's really bad. So Thunderbolt, as soon as it becomes this violent eruption of, a, of a, this little volcano of a circuit, it's time for it to be repealed and not replaced, just repealed. Um, and that's it for today. And as always, I hope you've learned something.